Can you tell me how to get, how to get to? Whoa. Wait a second, Beverly. Wait a second. We're here. We're here. We it's actually got here. You it's are on. Wow. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Nothing of it. Thanks Just doing my job, ma'am. Thanks for having us Thank here. You got you here, and you you work here for a lot of years. About forty six years. Forty six years. This would be the most incredible place to come to work every day for forty six years. It has been. Yeah, it's been incredible. This yeah. would be like a second home for you, would it not? Uh, it feels like that. Yes. Yeah. And we had a little facelift this year on the set, which is really beautiful. Yeah. They did a great it, job on it's that. It's really beautiful. Isn't and, right? and they're actually shooting today, so the yeah. whole place is bustling and exciting. <laughs> so we're. But but speaking about it being your second home like you actually lived just that right window up there. there yes that that was my home I had a four by eight sheet of plywood that they charged me two thousand dollars a month from rent for yeah New York rent. you used to sing out of there and say hi Mr. Hooper from up yeah. there because your character was a music teacher right so you would teach lessons I not from up there but I'd sing out of there He'd occasionally sing. and we yeah. had the kids all the time down here because music is a really important part of, to teach all of our goals and it still yeah. is isn't it, it still is and over here who yep. would hang out over mm -hmm. here I remember this this is like I can see this plane she'd right? see Hola, hola, Maria. Maria. Oh, yeah. She was so beautiful. I mean, yeah. I loved her. I mean, I had a crush on you. You no, know that. I mean, that's we know that. No, I don't know that. Oh yes, no, we I know, don't that. know that. But I I know. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Back to Maria. But she was always singing to me out of the TV. Like she yeah. had this. Thing, yeah, right? she was. One, she was. One of, she was one of our head writers. Also, she's very bright. Very, very bright. And she had a little. Uh, her little daughter was on the show with her for a while. Yeah. I and uh, Gabby. And one day she asked Gabby in the bath, what do you think of Sesame Street? Gabby said, not much. <laughs> so <laughs> it was her turn to get a new, get a new daughter. Um, there was something, as, as you were talking about the, being a music teacher and, and talking about the characters, mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a woman, Linda. Linda, she was incredible. She came to us with a little theater of the deaf and she was so wonderful, they hired her for a regular action. And she signed. She, she, she was signed. deaf and she only signed. And so they asked if I would sort of partner up with her and I had to spend uh, about two months in intensive sign language down at NYU, learning as much as I could. And then I had to have coaching at for everyone, but she was great. We did many, many, many scenes together. They were gonna have us get married at one point and in retrospect, it probably this would have been a good idea. Wow, this is stuff we don't know. You don't know this, but uh, since I was doing a lot of concerts with three of my five children at that point, I thought it'd be a little strange on Friday afternoon to get married to Linda and show up in Minneapolis with the symphony and have three children on the stage. So I said, I don't think it's a good idea. But, but it would have created a lot of more uh, sense. It's like she was great. Yeah. But now... Can we go over to the Hooper store? Yeah, show show us around yeah, Sesame yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, This is Mr. Hooper's store. Here we are. Yeah, Will Lee was incredible. He was the only really, really great actor of the whole group of us here. Yeah. <laughs> You're down he knew what he was yeah, doing. But we had such great times in here. I remember one time James Earl Jones came in. It was a white big limo and a white coat. And he said in his stentorian voice, could you get me an egg cream? And What's he said, an egg cream? What's that? It's, it's a New York thing. <laughs> it's, it's like a soda and chocolate and so It's delicious. It's just like a... Chocolate and drink. He just wanted one. He wanted one. And he came. He knew that Mr. Hooper made the best in New York. So he was there. So those were we had wonderful, joyous moments. And also, I guess, you know, I could never come in here without remember the iconic show of Goodbye, Mr. Hooper when yeah, he passed. I, I Do you remember, remember that? that? Yeah. That was a beautifully written show. Yeah. And uh it was hard. We couldn't even get through it. Actually, uh, we, we did one take, and he wanted to pick up, and we started, and we all broke down. Those were not acting tears. No. Those were all for real, and so we went with the first take. Because that would be your family. Yeah. When you yeah. talk about how many years you've spent yeah. here, I mean, that's your family. And we, we shared a dressing room for 15, 20 years, and whenever I didn't know what I was... I didn't know how to play a scene. I just asked Hooper. He actually taught... Uh, he was a teacher as well. Oh, really? Willie. Very fine one, wow. and he taught uh, James Earl Jones actually. Oh come on! Yeah, That's so funny. he was a wonderful person to have around. It's where Mr. your apartment was, right upstairs. Right upstairs, yeah. We had a little, we had a little ladder that apartment here, and they really? struck that when we were shooting, and then we were there. I was just wondering, like, this is weird, but did anyone ever shoplift for Mr. <laughs> I, I know. I was just. I... I don't think so. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> But it's I a very nice neighborhood. It is. <laughs> yes. It's a beautiful day. Who are there. the people in your neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. Shoplifters. Shoplifters. Nice. <laughs> okay, there's two other things I want to see. Yeah. Okay, can Great. we go check them out? Sure. 
come on. I want to see Big Bird's Nest. Yes. Big Bird's Nest. Yes. yes. Oscar the Grouch's can. Oscar can the Grouch, yes. Okay. okay. He'll let's tell go. you to have a rotten day, but that's all right. <laughs> I want to hear it. Okay. Let's go. Big Bird's Nest. That's it. Oh, my gosh. But, but where's Big Bird today? Uh, he couldn't be here. He's had a play date with Snuffleupagus. Oh, because they're good buddies. But, Very good. But you're buddies. best friends with Big Bird. Oh, we are. We did so many scenes between Big Bird and Oscar. Carol Spinney plays both. Yeah. And uh, we're very, very close friends off screen and on screen. So, uh, wow. I, I wish my best friend lived in a nest. <laughs> I wish I had a nest. <laughs> Wait a second. This is, this is it. This, this is, is it. Now, this is Oscar's I wonder, I wonder if he's here, Beverly. I wonder. Can I check? Would he At mind? your own risk. Really? Yeah. This yeah. is good. He may tell you. you know, to... Get lost! <laughs> I told you at your own risk. It serves you right for snooping. Oh, I can't help myself. <laughs> hey, so here's the door. This is it. This is one, two, three, Sesame Street. These are beautiful. And this was where Gordon. Gordon and Susan and Maria lived. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. And where you've been for 46 years. Yeah. So if you're not here working and you're not at Telemiracle mm. helping people, what is it you're doing? I'm at home cutting the lawn and uh, making making furniture. I love doing woodworking. Yeah, I remember you yeah. said you love woodworking. Would you like to see some of that? I'd love to. Okay, okay. sure. Take us your place. Absolutely. Let's go.